Hi there, it's me again. Yes, I'm Corey Gerard, your host. And I have a, another type of relationship message. So, ready or not, here I come. You know, they say when you meet a woman, you're supposed to present yourself in a way that wouldn't turn her off. Meaning, you are expected to be on your best behavior. You are expected to be best dressed. You are expected to be neat and clean and shaven. And I mean the guys like me. And last but not least, you are expected to have fresh, clean breath. And I don't have a problem with that. So just say the guys that do conform to those standards when they meet a woman and then those women become very impressed and they've made it up in their mind that they're going to give them a phone conversation. Hey, yeah, that's fine and dandy. I can go along with that. So next, you get through the phone conversation, or if you make it through, then uh, the third thing would be going out on a date. So when you go out on a date, the guy is expected to be even better prepared than when he first met that woman. Like, he's supposed to put on a suit, a tie, or maybe wear something dressy and nice, and including a nice gold watch, silver watch, preferably with a name brand that people will be impressed by. And then this guy must be wearing nice shoes. So he does all of this, and they go out on a nice date, and he takes her to a halfway decent establishment, and they sit down, and then he says something like, baby, order whatever you want, because the price isn't an issue with me, so sky's the limit. And then she orders a nice meal, and then he says, hey, how about a bottle of wine? Or, hey, just get, get you a favorite drink, like a shot of tequila or something. And then they do all that, they hit it off. And then this woman is thinking, wow, I mean, I am even more impressed with him than I was before. You know, like he, we got through the first meeting and then we got through the phone conversation. But now I'm even more impressed because this, this guy is dressed well. He's clean, clean or shaven now. You know, he smells good. What the hell he throw on? Some uh, curve? or her pleasures or something. But anyway, so she's like, wow, I think I want to um, take this to the next level. And in fact, I'm going to give him an indicator of that by giving him a kiss. And it might not be a sloppy wet kiss, but it still might be a good enough kiss on the lips to let him know that, hey, man, you made it to that fourth stage. You follow me? Now, just say like all dating goes this way and all and through all dating a guy must be very presentable to the woman so that she would appreciate him more but don't you think that's too easy just think about it for a minute you know no matter how presentable that guy is or no matter how best behaved that guy was or is eventually she, this woman is going to find out his bad side, his bad habits, his bad language, even his bad eating habits when he eats with his hands and toes. You say she's going to find out the, the stuff that will turn her off later on and eventually and it's only a matter of time. And that usually happens with all people Couples that have gotten to that fourth stage and beyond that. So wouldn't it be 
more of a test to present yourself in a bad way to the woman and then she and if she can accept you like that initially then it's proof that she will not be turned off by your bad habits like you know you know you might eat a thing of chili and you might pass a lot of gas you might you know, drink a lot of beer and you might have bad beer breath when you go out on that date with her you know you might smoke cigarettes they have cigarettes and beer breath you might curse you know just say you might be riding in some like you know, taking a um, stroll with her on a date and then, then you know how you play the nice mood music the R&B stuff you just might turn on some gangster rap and then blast it and do that. And then I know she'll look at you like, wait a minute, what the hell is wrong with this dude? But just think about it. The guy would be keeping it real with the woman. If he presented himself like that, it would be truthful and honest. Rather than him having to, you know, keep up appearances and put on like a false face and then behave in a way that he usually doesn't behave in or because it's too easy to act how someone would like us to act. And it's too easy to tell somebody what they would want to hear. But if you can be yourself completely and someone accepts you like your feet, your date of a significant, then that's a true test, and that will be an indicator of whether the, or not she can really tolerate you and put up with you and be with you. I think they should do experimental dates like that, even do a, a TV show to see how that would go and keep like a hidden camera and then find out. And I know people will disagree with me there, but think about it. In every case, no matter how nice the guy act, no matter how clean he appears, no matter if he put on something real nice of a dress style and then put on a nice cologne, nice jewelry, and eventually you're going to let her know your bad habits, dudes. And the guys always do let the woman know their bad habits and then the women reveal that they don't like none of them bad habits. And that's why guys be like on the tip and guys will be like, wait a minute, baby, why you changed? You didn't used to act like this towards me. You used to act entirely different. Well, dude, you know why she changed up is because you changed on her first. It's like you let her know she like you were the personification of perfection to that female, to your woman. And then you let her know that that you were something else entirely. And then it, a lot of times they find it hard to come to terms with that fact. So dudes, just be real, be yourself, and sink or swim on that. Thanks for tuning in.